South Africa has seen the recent sprout of young black and successful youths amid public outcries over economic-related issues troubling that country. One of these, popularly known as Ntlantlalax, has become a household name lately. His popularity came after he reportedly defended Maponga Mall from alleged looters in the height of looting frenzy after Jacob Zuma's arrest back in 2021. He has come out to be a defender and idol to the South African unemployed youth in townships. This comes after he started an illegal civic militia group, Dubbed Dudula Movement. The pressure group violently targets small foreign-owned businesses such as spaza shops and vending stands and seeks to take over and deport the individuals back to their countries. The movement, under the name Operation Dudula, also seeks to chase illegal foreigners out of the poor townships and back to their respective countries. The interesting and charming character behind the movement has captured the attention of the public, but there is a lot about him that the public doesn't know. Ntlantla graduated from International Hotel School in a hospitality diploma and QF6. He later trained and qualified as a pilot. He claims to have worked in the hospitality industry before becoming a pilot and starting his business. He has worked as an English and maths tutor under elite tutors. He later worked as a bartender at Glen Vista Country Club before becoming a head waiter and supervisor at Hazel and Viola Rooftop Lounge. He quit his job after graduating as a pilot and started his aviation company. As someone with passion to work amongst his kind, he became a vocal individual in Soweto townships before being elected as president of Soweto parliament. This job has helped him maintain popularity in South Africa and has used it to successfully push for his Dudula operation in South Africa. Tlantlamini, a 35-year-old this year, is an entrepreneur and businessman who claims to have come from a poor background and built his empire from off scratch, appearing on McGee's controversial podcast a few weeks ago. However, sensationally spilled the beans on how he got to where he is. He revealed that his father was part of a notorious money haste syndicate that siphoned millions of runs, which his family benefited on in becoming who they are today. He went to better schools, and chances are high that his career path was well set out through the left over of his crime. Tlantla was a talk of town back in 2012 when he became one of the very few youngest South African black-owned aviation service competitors at the age of 28. He founded and still runs his aviation company called Native Airways, which specializes on hiring and fairing individuals through private jets and choppers nationally and internationally. Some local media houses ranked his net worth at plus or minus 50 million rand in 2021. He stays in South Africa's richest square mile, Centon, and owns a luxurious mansion. He drives a number of top-of-range vehicles, including a 2021 McLaren MP4 limited edition. Despite his millionaire status, Ntlantla continues to mix and work on the ground with the poor masses to disperse foreigners who are accused of disrupting South Africa's economy.